Time code. <laughs> <laughs> There's a conspiracy afoot. The person, the person brought it, and then I said, "Wait, what, why is it upside down? Mm -hmm. Are you implying something?" Because yeah, don't you come from the upside down kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> This is so interesting how freely it flows from girls to girls as if it's like obvious to all it's of us. Obvious. I mean, you would, think, you would think you would look at me and say, oh my gosh, look at this angelic, uh, ethereal uh, individual. You would get the when regular- When you walk in, it just always goes, oh. Yeah, yeah. Like, every single time, every single time. Welcome to Curiosity Public. <laughs> I am Dutch. I am Jules. Delightful Dylan, who's angelic. <laughs> and welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate Spirits Competition. Our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet and subject it to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, you, you may be saying to yourself right now, Dutch. Something's wrong. That bottle is upside down. Mm. Or maybe you're confused and you're thinking, did we get a, a six-year-old? Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, but do not uh, worry. You, you do not need to adjust your set-top uh, TV. Set what is it called? Set Cathode ray tube. Cathode ray tube. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, this is Gold Spot, and I'm going to turn it upside down and show you guys the, Just the canister. Uh, but the reason it is the wrong way is because the opening is right there on the bottom. And on the you know where the top should be is the base of the canister. So... I'm gonna get it out of here so we can. Dylan got lucky. Well, so I wanna ask Mitchell and Son, did we win the golden ticket? Did we win ticket? the golden ticket? Like, did we get the one that. It's like the upside down, uh, what is it called? The, the, the biplane uh, uh, stamp? You know? Mm -hmm. It's the, the mystery. Very rare right? ones, yeah. Yeah, so this is the, this is the rare Maybe right? we shouldn't have opened this. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we did open it. Uh, gold Spot Single Postal Irish Whiskey, aged nine years. This is for the 135th anniversary. Triple distilled Irish whiskey, Mitchell and Sons, 51.4% alcohol, 102.8 proof. This is a special release. You can see they're celebrating the 135th anniversary of the wow. Mitchell's whiskey bonding tradition. Let's get a quick shot of the back. What's our price point on this, Dylan? Yeah, how much? Uh, so I got this for 100 bucks. Um, I think it's supposed to retail 100 to 130 or so. Glasses. So easily entertained. That's four glasses. We need two more. Three. Yeah. Now that we have our glasses, I'm going to get us poured. Dylan. Before we begin, though. You don't want me to pour? I have a couple of things. You don't want me to pour? You can pour. You can pour for you us. Can pour. Oh. Just pour. <laughs> um, I have a couple of things. I have a surprise for you. Oh! Surprise! I'll be right back. Uh oh. Is he gonna? Is he gonna go get Mr. Dillon? I think he's gonna wear a gold jacket. Oh! Calling it. Is he gonna get the golden one too? Oh! This is taking way too long. Too long. I'm already bored. All right. Merry oh. Christmas! What? Merry Christmas! I got the gold spot for you, but I also did it for a reason. Take out your bottle. Is oh, mine upside right down? Side up. To show oh, so that is mine. there is a difference. Wow. That's the correct one. Look at that. All right. So here's the real question, though. Is this going to be a repeat of last year's Christmas gift where we didn't like it? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. We had That's that all tradition. we got. <laughs> yeah, you're getting nothing and else. And now we're rating it. Hey, well, thank you, Dylan. Else. Well, thank you very much, Dylan. There you go. That's very uh, generous. Appreciate you. Now that we sufficiently uh, tainted the store. Yeah. Let me talk to you about the gold spot. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> why is this special? First of all, it's a little weird that they're celebrating 135th. I agree. It's like, why? Maybe wait till 140 or 150? Hmm. Well, anyway, doesn't matter, right? Any cause for celebration. So uh, it is matured nine years at least. And they uh, basically used uh, bourbon barrels, sherry butts, Bordeaux wine casks, and port pipes. So it's a very interesting mm. use of different types of barrels. Sherry port and bourbon. Non-chill filtered. We'll see how this compares. I mean, we did a our very famous drink through. 
Yeah, we did. Of the spots. Yeah, and this was of course not in there because it wasn't out at the no, time that we did that drink through. Interesting. Now, instead of comparing this for members of Curiosity Private, we, we will do a special video with this one, but we're not gonna compare it to another spot. Instead, we're gonna compare it to another higher proof Irish whiskey that is more readily available, which about is- About the same price. About the same price, yeah. The but red, you can find it. Red breast cask strength. So we're gonna be comparing these two. Good um, We'll do it blind. The proof is a little bit higher, of course, right. in, the, in the red breast. What are we at with this one? This is 115 mm. versus... You know, in our videos, in our, our private videos, we want to tell our members, should they go buy this stuff? Mm. Yeah. I mean, we have our scores, but relatively speaking, if you should you go out and pay a premium or spend the time to do it? Yeah. So again, that's for members of Curiosity Private here on YouTube or over on Patreon. If you want to see that video, hit the join button or head on over to Patreon. If you don't care about that, and you just want to see us review the gold spot, then just stick around. We're going to sip it and score it right now. We'll be back in a second. Or like these guys, they just stand around and they get amazing uh, Christmas gifts. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. No comment. We don't know if it's amazing yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he just went all for the flair. He's like, oh, it's gold, I like it. Gold! Which would work for jewels, probably. I am sold. <laughs> There's not quite enough gold on the bottle for you. <laughs> this is true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does that mean anything? I don't know what that means. Oh man. And we should note it's a 700 milliliter bottle. So actually, it is more expensive if you think about the it. Volume, you yeah. know. Hey, look at this. The phone is gold. Gold spot? Gold? What? Oh. Where's the gold? Everywhere. You're messing with me, dude. Oh my goodness, yeah. The color's changed, huh? I mean, are, are you messing with me? No, no, this is gold. That's supposed to be a gold phone? This is gold. Yeah, I don't Go. see it, bro. <laughs> no, I think, I think, uh, you see? Something's here. <laughs> it's the ghosts or something. <laughs> you're messing with me. No. You're messing with me. No, it's gold. Yeah, can you take it off real quick? No, I'm not taking it off. Uh. It's protected. <laughs> For folks in the, at home. Um, <laughs> in the at home. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, the, at the home. Well, they could be at work watching this. Yeah. It's true. Hey, really? Okay. What, uh, what else do you do? So, uh, <laughs> my worry is that Jules, because he received it as a gift, the score will be even lower. <laughs> like, I already got a bottle. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. What was the price again? 100. That was like 120. Oh, yeah. One, 100 to 130. Shoot. Okay. Yeah. I think when I saw it, it was around one. I, it's marked up a lot of places. Like it's hard to find it under 200. Yes. When I was looking. Yes. Um, the secondary prices have gone insane. I have no idea why. But is it because it says limited edition there? Is that why? It's opening up a little bit more. Yeah, it's cold. Oh, it really is opening up. It is, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to come back to it. All right, we've had some time to taste. We've all scored it independently. We haven't discussed it with each other yet. We haven't looked at each other's scores. We're going to discuss it and reveal our initial scores and get into each individual category. But first, Jules here is going to tell you about our scoring system in less than five seconds. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> 10 categories, 100 points. 10 points each for most, except, <laughs> or. <laughs> wow, this is off. Uh, but we judge it off of aroma, <laughs> flavor, body, complexity, bounds, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. Flavor at 20 points each. Uh, aesthetics and value, <laughs> five, <each>. or 20, <laughs> five points each. And then you can medal in our competition, you go from bronze, silver, gold, diamond, if you score 60 and up. All right. I'm, uh, I mean, I make fun, off. but you should see what I wrote down that's in the first off. category, and then uh -oh. you'll realize that I'm actually the idiot. But anyway, um, let's get our initial scores first, and then we'll mm -hmm. get into that. My initial score, of course, this can change. We're gonna discuss it. Scores may go up or down. Mm -hmm. My initial score. 79. 72. 83. Whoa. This guy seems right. a little low to me. That's uh, quite so a spread. Really, yeah, really you seem really low to me too. Um, let's talk about it. Um, let's kick it off with aroma. This is one that I did go up to because I felt like it got better. Yeah, I, I agree. It a, I give it a nine. Wow. I give it a seven. That's a really low. I don't know, because even though I give it time to... Uh, well, let let's get the score first, hang on. Oh. So, uh, you know, I, I sympathize. I started, I, seven, uh. I started at a seven. I started at a seven, but after it opened up, mm. it warmed up a little bit and started to kind of, the bouquet started to come through. Uh, I changed it to an eight. However, 
I think the reason why I'm having trouble is because the ethanol Thank you. is making it a little bit challenging. And it's still but there. I don't know if it's the temperature. Even if it's the time right now. I, mean, I did not get any ethanol. I'm really, I'm loving no, this. No, on that initial this nose, is like, dude. You, you guys and then now. This is what I was going to say. I was making fun of Jules earlier, but this is me trying to write apple juice. <laughs> First of all, I misspelled apple and I wrote juice yes. with a G. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, thank you. You gotta show that. Apple juice. A P R U E G U I C E. That's uh, um, embarrassing. But no, when I came back to it, it was like a blanket of flavor. Mm. It was warm. Yeah. Uh, Maybe that's just not warm enough. Enveloped. Right, right. I, I thought it was. Um, I thought it's it was, a lot of apple juice. You know it what is? But it, it was so pronounced and so easy to get the flavors for me. And you know how bad my nose is. When I get it this clearly, I have to give it. But the it's points. only one. It's not just apple though. No, this is not just apple. Um, you get you get it's a little bit of the ethanol, spice, but I, I love the summer fruits. But you know the mm. you, the issue, and this is a, what's a little bit tricky about mm. Irish. You know, there's almost like a pastry element. It's like an apple pie. There's something there that like that's like why a baked good. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very. It's, nice. it's, it's, you know yeah. you don't get you can't say it's like grain per no. se. No, no, no. But, no, like, but it's like a baked, byproduct of it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a yeah. Baked, like a baked bread. Right, like a right. baked pastry, like a sweet bread. You know. Yeah, I'm definitely happy with my eight. I think seven's a little low. I feel like seven's low, especially since I got so much. But hey, you know, it's you, only one point, dude. That's so low. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. Let's move on to flavor <laughs> then. Um, lot to talk about here, but let's get our scores for seventeen. Yeah, seventeen. Eighteen. Mm. And I'm with you on that. I'm ready to ready. To Let's talk about, about it. it. I mean, tons of green apple. I got a slight sourness. It did yeah. get better, better as time went on, um, and I got this slight spice layer underneath the apple. Again, like this apple pie thing. I keep coming back to it. Like it, it really works well, but it, it, the spectrum was narrow, and that's why I think I'm limited to a seventeen. Despite how good the flavors are and how clear they are, it just it still feels a little narrow to me. Mm. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Like it, it felt like. As much as there were, as much as what was presented, it felt like things were still missing, and that's yeah. why. And it's just like there was like room for more. Yeah, like a dollop of ice cream on top of that. Ooh, pie. Yeah. Alamodi would be perfect. Yeah, I think I think your um, your myopia comes from the fact that you have not tried some of the other other offerings breasts. offerings uh, from Redbreast where they were this trying to invoke spot, similar similar kind of uh, what, what does that have to do with this score? It? Will you let me talk, please? <laughs> All right, so... All right. Uh, 20 minutes later. Yeah, 20 think, minutes later. I think I appreciate what they, they did with the variety of barrels that they used. Mm -hmm. um, what I wrote here is the apple, and then you start to get fruit juices, like a fruit juice, and then you get something that I don't typically get in the spot, which is a soupçon, with an emphasis on P, soup song of molasses which you don't typically get and then you get a soup song it's like a joke with, uh, for one person that he does uh, exactly. of honey 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 and i think it's a very i don't get the honey bold and new flavor profile for a spot now the reason why i can't give it a 19 or a 20 is because the wine component. At the end of the palate? Yeah. yeah. It's almost yeah. in the finish. Yes. But here's the weird thing that I, I experienced was I like, I didn't know where to give it points for this, but the palate was very long. Yeah. Yes. In yeah. other words, it's very, 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 very constant. Yeah. And it's almost like the finish doesn't start until way, way later than later. you think it would. Yeah. And I didn't know where to give it those points, but I did actually yeah. give it at finish. So yeah. I do think- It, it is a very complex journey, uh, tasting this. <sighs> yeah. It's a, it's it a, I, I really feel like it's not unpleasant. No. I think the components, I mean, we'll talk about it in balance, but I thought it worked well to present a very interesting journey. And I really like that. And I think that's why it was a little bit higher than 17. I, I well, thought about so 17, I, but... I agree with a lot of things you're saying, but I think I gave it those points in finish and I gave it those points in drinkability because of what you're saying. It's okay. like, I wanted to go, I want to go back to this because I feel like there's more to unpack here. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I feel like because that palette was so long, I didn't know where, I didn't, that didn't really fit I, I want in. Jules to taste it again towards the end. Yeah, yeah well, I'm also like trying to warm it up yeah, more. Yeah. Just yeah. like what, yeah. I mean, we're filming in an igloo, so. Yeah. All right, let's move on. It's Next category, body. Seven. Seven. I give it a nine. I thought this was where it shined. No, no it is either. very Mixed rich experience. Uh, fact, it uh, wasn't, uh, oh, sometimes it was it was oily. Other times it was really dry. It was mixed. Me. I agree. Uh, whatever. Yeah, Listen, was, 
think you have to think about what we're drinking here. This is Irish whiskey. Yeah. Not you know, cognac or yeah. when, when it gets loud, it gets very loudly indeed. When it gets loudly, it gets very loud indeed. <laughs> I can right, still let, hear out of this no, one. No, 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 no. This is this is rich when in in, in the in the context of the mm. Irish whiskeys that are out there, this is, has a rich body. Man, I, I think the it, it really benefited from all of these different barrels bringing the, out the different Jameson, things and it's yeah, just but you said it earlier like there's no, this wine component no, and no. i feel that in the body where it's like that drying effect that it almost gets bit. too that like does, yeah well, that's, that's more different fish. that's not that's not, yeah. that's not body it's not body hey what, what were you gonna say about jameson the jameson 18 bow street i think had a, way more heft on the palate than i this. doubt it no i'm sorry i don't get it no it didn't because we had it right yeah, and yeah. I, my, my, my memory is like, that's what I want. That's a good heft to an Irish whiskey. This one's okay. Yeah. It's fine. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not Seven's bad. a good score for me. me I think this is great. I think this is great. All right. Next category, guys. Complexity, eight. Seven. I gave it an eight. Yeah, it's I think good. seven's too low. It's really good. There's, a lot, yeah, there's, there's a lot going, going on. There's, there's a, a lot, lot to unpack going here. on here. There is. Uh, this is like not. I said, I was felt. This wanting. is not background. This is not background no. bourbon. There's a. a oh bourbon. yeah, I background, it, uh, it, whiskey. It could be. This is one yeah. where if you want to devote the, the you know, attention to it, right. you, it absolutely is a lot to unpack. But it's also very yeah. sippable, and it could be a background one. It doesn't like command your attention. But it is a. It is a part. But when you do pay attention to it, yeah, it's wonderful. There's a lot in there. It's a multicultural part. And, and what's interesting too is as I sip it, as it opens up, I'm getting the sherry more. <laughs> you know, the first few sips, all I could get was traditional Irish whiskey mm. flavors. Now, like, the sherry's coming yeah. through, the finishes are yes. coming through a little bit right, better. Right. So it is improving for sure. Okay, next category balance, also an eight for me. I give it an eight. I give it a seven. Uh, again, I think it, what's here is it well balanced. slanted more on the fruit side for me. Like, I wasn't getting any of like the baked, you know, like that I was getting in the um, in the aroma, it didn't carry through in the palate. And that's why it's like, mm. we're, talking and about, then, we're talking about balance. Right? Yeah, no, so we're talking about complexity though. Like the items there, like it no, just wasn't we're there. we're talking about balance, right? Yeah, we're on balance. Oh, we are? Yeah, you keep talking about complexity, talking oh, okay. about Sorry. flavor. <laughs> yeah, 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 my bad. We're it on is the balance. on the No, so then, then you're wrong, already you're wrong. Like that, that, no. That's, it's, all, it's the same. Reassess. Complexity seven, balance. No, you know seven. what? You you wrote nice and you simple. wrote sevens all around because it just. I did, good. except that finish. Balance. So you know. Right. No, <laughs> that it's much more complex than a seven. Much more. It's a one more. It's one more. It's one more. I agree with that. Yeah. It is more. It is more complex yeah. than that, and it is well balanced. I think. I understand. Yeah. Well, whatever. Yeah. We're not going to change one. <laughs> uh, let's move on to finish. It's a nine. Mm. Mm. So I wobbled on this one. I gave it an eight originally, and then I landed on a seven. I gave it an eight, but I can be talked up to nine. Okay, so I gave it an extra point here because yeah. I didn't know where to give it that point for having such a long, long palate. Yeah. You know, I, if you yeah. gave that in flavor, sure, but for me, that's, it's almost like, the finish starts somewhere here, and it's exactly the same. I don't even the, know when it starts. Right. And that's, but that's really yeah, interesting to me. Point. And yeah. I also started to get the sherry on the finish. I did. Yeah. And I yeah. think that the only thing that's stopping me from going higher, though, is, okay, there's not an additional flavor that comes in, and you do get a little bit of the drying. You I do. do a little bit. I do. Yeah. It's not too bad, All but right. it's... I'll go up. Yeah. The reason I didn't give it a 9 or a eight. 10... Yeah, 8. Two issues. Two issues. Number one, the, the proportion. I want that well-rounded finish... It was a little chaotic, mm -hmm. and then number two, um, I felt like the uh, the mouthfeel wasn't as good as I would like in the finish. So that's why I, I gave it an eight. Okay, that's fair. Okay, next category: uniqueness seven. Seven. I gave it an eight. I mean, I I get the seven. I mean, it, it uses a lot of barrels. They you know I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking back to our drink through though. D would this one really stand yeah, out? Yeah, that's what I, I think. That's so. what I, thought. I think it would. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It would, dude. I think it. It's, it's, it's good. Whiskey, I mean, right now we have the doubt because we didn't have it. No, you know what? Okay, forget like... the forget the other like one-off greens. Okay, um, let's talk about blue, red, and yellow. Okay, these are the things that you. It, this, let's this throw a regular green into that. Yeah, because yeah. I remember you and I. We green went is to that, simple. Yeah, you guys. No, yeah. We went to that bar. Green. We went to that bar. We had yellow and green next to each other. We both preferred the green. No, I picked yellow. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No. I distinctly remember this. That's why I was so blown away. I was like, wow, we both preferred the green. Is this the same bar where you said, oh, I didn't buy a George C. Stag? <laughs> no, it was the same trip, but it was a different bar. <laughs> yeah, no. 
anyway, whatever. I guess our memories are fuzzy from that. But I, 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 this fuzzy is not, logic. It does not stand out I'm from a flavor you. perspective yeah. or from a design. I like the gold, but that's... I almost like, gave it a bonus for getting it upside down. I know, that is kind of cool, but that's just a fluke. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, is it? Is it a fluke? I like the gold, but there's yeah. there's like there's room for more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it had to be, you know, part of the theme and for what they did. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. You know, they could have picked a white spot. It could have popped a little more. That's all I gotta say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next category, drinkability. I hinted this before that I gave it a little bit of a bonus here. Eight. Mm. Give it a seven. I give it a nine. I'm tempted. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, some of the things that happen mm. on the finish are why, uh, one of the reasons I detracted, like it's a little tingly, there's a little I bit agree. of that it's tannic that at the very, very thing. end of the finish. Yeah. If it didn't have that, I think I would be a nine. This is a nice mm. one to sip. It's this excellent. one's a really nice one to sip. I agree. Uh, amongst yeah. all the Irish whiskeys, I think if you, if you don't like Irish whiskey because, you know, your, your perception is that it's, lighter, fruitier, and it's just kind of like closer to a water profile. This, I think, could change your mind because it's much more in the kind of the hefty. It's, um, it's not punchy, you know, though. Uh, it's almost it like, has a more Glenmore, body. like a Glen Morangy yeah. flavor. Yeah. It's like a mix of that, yeah. kind of that, yeah. that style of scotch right. mixed right. with an Irish whiskey almost. Yeah, but it doesn't lose the pedigree of Irish whiskey and the Correct. spot uh, flavor. Mm -hmm flavor profile so that's why that's why i thought that this was good yeah. uh, i like yeah. this very good all right next category aesthetics uh four give it a four i give it a three it's nice, it's nice. I, mean, I, I like the motif it's it's a great motif again i would have liked a little more gold i feel the same <laughs> like maybe make why. the white part of the paper all gold i don't know but you know? yeah mm. i still feel like they could have maybe made like a gold top they could have made a pop a little bit more that's why i'm, yeah. I'm leaving that point feels a little subdued um all right Final category, value. Two. Ooh, I give it a three. I gave it a three. I gave it a three. 130 bucks, dude. I gave it a three. Is this yeah. that much of an elevation of, uh, over the $30, $40 Irish whiskeys, which are very good? I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why. This is a, this is marketed as a limited edition, 135th <laughs> year, whatever, yeah. which is a weird number, right? Yeah. So the fact that they, they could have priced this at one ninety nine. I feel the same. I think and that's why, because it's a special anniversary. Hardly ever find it below that in the real world. No, well, I guess uh, you're, you're looking, right, because it's like two hundred. When I've been I've looking, the it. cheapest I've seen is like two twenty, two fifty in that range. <sighs> yeah, that's true. You're right. Hmm. And I know we have to factor in both what they set yeah, the price and right. the market price. Yeah, 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 I just feel yeah, like with right. the market okay, price, you're right. yeah, you're right. it doesn't right. stand out enough. Yeah, right? it's good whiskey. You're not going to feel let down, but it's just too. It's just a little too expensive. Yeah, no, you're yeah. Right. The secondary prices. You're right. I don't know what happened there. You're right. I mean, I, it was retail. It's all the for collectors, man. It has to be. Yeah. Jeez, two hundred. I know. <laughs> Looking um, at you, Billy. Well, right. I bought extra not for myself. I bought it for the welfare of, you know. I was gonna say, <laughs> but uh, the the, 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 you don't even want to say friends. Look at that. You don't even want to call us you know, friends. Work, workplace adjacent. <laughs> That's all we are to you. Exactly. All right, guys, let's get our final tallies. I stayed at 79. I stayed at 72. 82. I wanted gold for this gold spot. This is market correction. Which gives us our official. Score. Did it get it? In Curiosity Public's Ultimate Spirits Competition for Gold Spot. Oh, because of you. <laughs> because of Jules, it is a 77. High O Silver. 77.6, but of course we round down because we make this the hardest spirits competition. Dude, that's very decent. Yeah, 77 is a great score in our system. Um, and I you do, can chalk it up to price. Or we'll chalk it up to Jules. True. <laughs> yeah. Not liking Irish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, on that bombshell, Jules, take us out. Tell us what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel. Subscribe for more video videos from Curiosity <laughs> Public. Uh, hit that bell icon to see notifications whenever we upload a new video. If you want to help us out, please consider buying a t-shirt. Links will be in the description. You can also join Curiosity Private membership program here on YouTube where we'll have a taste off of Gold Spot versus Red Breast. And we are on Patreon and all the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious.